Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So I'm continuing to work on the craft room and I'm not exactly sure what I've been filming over the past week or so, um, just with what I've been doing in the craft room. So I'm not sure if I actually ever recorded an intro for this video. So in today's craft room setup video, I would like to share with you everything that I've been working on for the past week or so. I've been able to tackle so many projects in this space. So the craft room still definitely is a work in progress. There are so many projects I want to try to tackle in here. Labeling all of these bins and, you know, continuing to put up different types of decor, continuing to organize some of the different crafting supplies I have. Over the past week, I was able to get so many different projects done and I feel like it's definitely in a good place for crafting. In today's video, I would like to share with you everything that I've been able to do in the craft room over the past week. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. I'm going to start by organizing some of this tempera paint that I actually found at Dollar Tree just a couple days ago. And as you can see, I'll sort of line up all the different colors. Some of these are glittery. So we have a purple glitter, a pink. This is a pink glitter. Just a plain white. Black. Then red. And orange. Purple. Just a plain purple, no glitter. And then we have like a gold glitter and a silver glitter. I kind of like lining this up. It's kind of fun. Oh, there's a little hole right here in the dust so I won't be able to go any further over and then a light blue as well so I thought that these would be great for some different DIYs I really love that they have so many different vibrant colors I think I got them all I'm not hundred percent sure but I had shared in a recent video that I want to get more into painting and to organize all of the paint I'm going to be using this K cup holder I had used this before to organize K cups and I actually have one of these already that I found at the thrift store that I use for um, I think they're more like acrylic paints so since I found this one in the garage just a couple days ago, I thought it'd be great to use this to organize the new paint that I found at Dollar Tree. I really like this. I think it's an easy way to keep it all organized and, you know, it's like a Lazy Susan. I'm going to organize 
them in these dish rack uh, organizers that you can find at Dollar Tree and then just sort of put the markers and then the other little pieces in like that so that they're just organized and sitting up nicely. So as you can see, I was able to tackle so many different projects over the past week. Let me turn the camera around and share with you everything that I was able to do this week. I love using these scissors for different type of paper crafting. When you cut with them, the the scissors will actually create sort of a different type of design on the side of the piece of paper. I love hanging these up on the back of the desk for the same reason that I love displaying the washi in these clear organizers. I like the idea of having the stuff that you're working with, the different crafting supply or the different material sort of also work as decoration and sort of, you know, make the space look exciting and vibrant. Just love that I can lay all of these out in a rainbow pattern and I just think it's so pretty. I love the contrast of the rainbow handle against the wallpaper. This is actually, on the back of the desk, it's actually a type of wallpaper from Roommates Decor. I will make sure to leave information down below if you guys would like to check them out. I found this peel and stick wallpaper at Walmart, but it's the Roommates Decor brand. So I really love how this looks. I think it's so pretty. It just makes me excited for craft and it's nice to be able to see all of your supplies sort of sitting out and I just think it's so pretty and of course I had to add some trolls over here I found these trolls at a garage sale I think and then my dad actually gave this to me it says a teacher takes a hand opens a mind and touches a heart and I just think that's really sweet and my dad actually dropped this off to me about a month ago and I've been looking for the perfect spot for it and then the thing that the scissors are hanging off of is actually something that I found at Dollar Tree so then I was able to get all of the bins that I will need for this space as I said in a previous video I really wanted to try to make sure that I was able to have enough bins to be able to fill up this whole bookshelf so I was very happy that I was able to do that and I've been working to try to organize all of the craft supplies that I have I think I have some more boxes of craft supplies upstairs in the attic that I need to go through but then I was able to organize some of my painting supplies in my last craft room I had organized some of my painting supplies in this k-cup organizer and I think I found this at a garage sale or maybe I found it at a thrift store. I love being able to organize all of the different types of paint that I had, but then just a couple days ago I found some of this tempura paint at Dollar Tree and I was able to pick up so many different colors. And then I actually found this other K-Cup organizer in my garage when I was cleaning out my garage and I thought it just worked so perfectly. 
to organize all of these. And then I just have a, a couple mason jars right here and then actually a vase in the back. I'm just not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that vase yet. I plan on just putting paint brushes in those right there. And then on this second shelf, I was able to go through and actually organize a lot of the smaller pieces that I had. I think in the last video I shared with you that I went through and organized a lot of the smaller pieces that I craft with, like sequins and beads, and I was able to actually go through and organize them in these Dollar Tree organizers. They have several different sizes. So I went through and I was able to do that, but then I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to put these containers just because I wanted them to be able to be easily accessible and I wanted to be able to see everything I had and then I remembered that I actually had some of these plate organizers in the attic and I had actually used them in the past to organize fabric but then I thought maybe it would actually fit these containers nicely and so I brought one down from the attic and it was the perfect size to fit these containers and then also fit these marker organizers as well so I love how this turned out I love that I'm able to see everything I have all of my markers are organized, and then I have all of my smaller crafting supplies as well. And then right in the middle, I have my markers organized, and yeah, I love how this space looks. I love that everything is easily accessible. I just think it looks really nice. So then right here, I have some of the wood supplies that I'm going to be crafting with, just, you know, different materials that I found at Dollar Tree, different supplies that I'm going to be using that are all made of wood, so I just thought keeping everything together on one shelf would be a nice way to keep it organized. And then on this shelf, I have some different um, plastic items that I'm going to be crafting with, also some wire baskets that I'm going to be crafting with as well. As you can see, I was able to work on so many different projects over the past week, and I'm really happy with the progress that I've been able to make in this space. So now I think I'm going to be turning my focus to the teaching closet and trying to get that ready for the new school year. I am excited to be able to see how that space can look, and I'm excited to be able to have a space that works for me for crafting, but also a space that I can use um, to prepare for teaching as well. So stay tuned for videos about the teaching closet. I'm so excited to be able to share the project with you, so make sure you stay tuned. Hopefully I'll be able to share a video of that process next week. And that's it for this part of the Thrifted Craft Room Setup Series. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving, and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!